20 years ago who was writing best-selling books about them taking human baby fetus brains and putting them in dogs, cats, cockroaches, mice. The first guy I heard talk about geoengineering, terraforming, uh, manipulating the weather. The first guy I heard uh, talk about so many issues, I heard him, it was like seven, eight years ago, say they're doing the census to track where you live to mark your house for drone strikes. And then now they admitted that the military has been given all that data. They're now arming drones. So it's easy to make fun of him, but I got to tell you, he's willing to really say what he thinks. And so much of what he said has turned out to be true. SteveQuail.com, host of the Q Files, joins us. Steve, thank you for coming on. I'm not even going to throw out a bunch of issues. I got a bunch of questions for you. But front and center, you've got the floor here for the balance of the hour, the next 15 minutes. What do you want to say about the world meltdown of the markets, about the shooting, about... What is this distracting us from? Donald Trump, uh, where is it all? Uh, ISIS spreading all over the world. Steve Quayle. Well, Alex, thank you, and, and good afternoon to all info warriors all around the world. But what's going on right now is pretty critical. First of all, I think the idea that we're in full motion gun uh, control and confiscation. Alex, when we signed on, the United States uh, under Obama signed under the small arms Convention Treaty, what most people fail to understand is all of the NATO troops that are here, all of the Russian Chinese are here to basically do two things, to assert their domination control of the United States and also to disarm. I was told years ago, went on the radio, may have said it on your show, but basically part of the agreement between U.S. government and China can, to continue buying our debt was that we would agree to, excuse me, allow the disarmament of the entire American citizenry. You remember the flack I got, well, there are 300 million guns in the United States, blah, blah, blah. But what most people don't understand is during the census, and you just brought that up in your uh, opening to me, is that everybody who was a known gun owner was GPSed. Most people didn't understand the term yard farming in those days. It was Greg Evenson who brought that up. I want on record, yard farming means literally using drone strikes against American citizens. So many people thought that was outlandish. So many people thought that I'd gone over the edge and that basically I was a fear porn purveyor. I was a whatever, Armageddonite. But all those things uh, now are coming to be into the focus to prove that that's really the plan. With the advent of all the forest fires in the northwest this was part of the plan also that uh, and and what is his name and and you know and anatoly golitsyn wrote about in two of his books which basically are going by, by right by the script you know and one of them was new lies for old and the perestroika deception the bottom line in both that was the russians faked their own demise to get investment in the west and still having the plan now listen i'm going to quote somebody that i used to quote all the time in the first 10 years of that was on talk radio by a guy named, uh, I think it was Boris Manuilski. And he was a professor at the Lenin School of Political Warfare in Moscow. So many people I don't get the big picture. I pray by the grace of God I can give them the big picture. The bourgeois will have to be put to sleep. So shall we begin by launching the most spectacular peace movement on record. The capitalist country, stupid and decadent, will rejoice to cooperate in their own discretion. They will leap at another chance to be friends. So we've all heard that Lenin said that, you know, the West will sell uh, the East the rope in which to hang themselves. But I think what's happening now is in order to understand the new world order, people must get the basic. It's simply this. All borders, nation, uh, nationalities, cultures, and language must basically be done away with. The elite literally have no problem talking about the death of six billion people. And that's why, I just to interrupt, they do things that are unconstitutional, that are unpopular, and aren't even law, because they say they've got the international treaties. And you mentioned this. I want to throw this out. Uh, this is out of Bloomberg News. China sells U.S. Treasuries to support their yuan. That is an unprecedented move. So there's also some infighting, but it's globalist multinationals controlling Russia, controlling China, controlling the U.S., playing us off against each other, but that's the unseen hand. Correct, Steve? Absolutely. And the thing is, is that even in, in the famous statement, you know, that some argue over on the three-rate world wars, which would be 
fomented. Obviously, we're talking about uh, Mazzini's letter. That is absolutely Albert Pike. Whether you want to believe it or not, not you, Alex, but whether the people want to believe it or not, wars don't just happen. They're staged to happen. And one of the critical points that I must get out on your show today, and again, thank you for letting me back on. I apologize to you. Yesterday was a screw-up, a mix-up, and someone I told Nico was intentionally screwing with uh, my email and our ability to contact each other. But that just tells me that the time frame has moved way up. I got an email before going on the air tonight that basically said, or this afternoon, excuse me, I'm used to doing late night talk radio, is that from a National Guard guy who basically said, we're worried that we're going to be shipped overseas and that all the foreign troops that have been training here are going to be given the go-ahead. Now, whether people want to admit it or not, one of the purposes of whether they're a false flag, real shooting, MK Ultra, mind control E. Uh, disenfranchised video game player. Uh, most of these trained killers have multiple identities. And you and I have talked about mind control, MK Ultra until we're blue in the face, but evidently most people still don't get it. Remember, it's not what really happens that counts. It's what's made to look like what they want to happen that counts. So again, the mass media, and, and again, to go on record, I believe they are nothing more than vomit brokers. You're seeing that play out daily. Steve and, Quell, the way, stay there. Stay there. We're going to come right back and continue with where you see the world going straight ahead. And then later in the next hour, we're going to open the phones up for your questions for Steve Quell. I'm Alan Jones. I started getting politically involved, a little bit more savvy. I was like a mainline libertarian until about 93, 94. I was in college then. And I remember hearing, you know, they got Russian troops, they got Chinese troops, they're training them. And I think these old-timers, mainly military vets, are crazy. I wasn't disliking military vets, I just thought they were paranoids. And then they'd have black helicopter drills all over Texas and blowing up buildings, people having heart attacks. Folks would cover it, and they'd get death threats. And I got on air, and I'd cover it, and there'd be military in plain clothes threatening me in the parking lot. Like, you better watch it, buddy, and it'd be, it'd be military guys in plain clothes. And then I had people pull guns on me and just everything else just because I was covering it. I was like, wow, this whole thing's real. Then I became a source for people to be able to get info out. I started getting, you name it, NSA stuff, just crazy. I mean, I was being educated by my audience. And then there's Steve Quayle going, they're training Russian troops at this base outside Denver and this base outside Colorado Springs, and they're training them under secret treaties for gun confiscation. I'm like, oh, that's that's just can't be true. And then now, two years ago and last year, it comes out in the Denver Post, it comes out in AP, we'll put them on screen, Russian troops trained to fight domestic terrorists in America. And you're like, but we're at war with Russia. Well, it's all part of these treaties, so they have to let the U.S. over there, they're over here, there's Fox News, and this is really going on. It's why the Chinese have been given the Panama Canal. It's globalism. It's part of this balance of power. There's a lot of double-crossing going on, major drills against the Chinese right now. What do you think, in the four minutes we've got to break, Steve Quayle, then we'll come back and you can flesh stuff out. How do you see the power structure set up in the world, and what do you think is going on right now? Because clearly there's the most action I've ever seen going on, and massive amounts of foreign troops. Even Washington Post admits, quote, Canadian and Mexican troops will be used during martial law for, quote, civil unrest. I mean, this is in the newspapers. What's going on? Well, obviously, Alex, it takes money to fund terrorism. Remember this. Terrorism is always someone's army. That's a statement that I stand by for the past 25 years. Talk radio. Let's take ISIS, one of the most well-funded, well-equipped, savvy international oil investors, currency manipulators, drug dealers, and all that. Who does that sound like? That sounds like a very sophisticated, intelligence-generated, and coordinated effort to destabilize the United States. When you and I started talking years ago that, listen, the, the globalists are serious, What what's Concerning to me the most is that the Americans don't get this, that they're already on the chopping block. And see, that's the critical issue here. Things have escalated. It is my intent to make it clear, by the grace of God today, we are absolutely in that pre uh, that prepositioning of an attack by Russia and China. You brought up the amount of money that China is dumping to support the yuan. 
You've brought up all these things. What, what the elites are scurrying out of the U.S. at record rates. That's even in mainstream news. Absolutely. What happens? Well, you, you know, the old statement, rats abandoning ship, you know. Well, they abandon it in their Gulf Streams and in their, you know, two and three hundred million dollar yachts. But those in the know obviously go. Those who are, how should I say this, ignorant, stay. But they, if and this is what I'm not talking about anybody fleeing the country. But what I'm saying is is that, you know, people have got to recognize this is, as you have so appropriately titled it, this is the end game in play. Everything up until the time, Alex, that you've been on radio, I've been on radio, others have been on radio warning, that's all past now. We aren't approaching the cliff. We're over the cliff. It's just like an avalanche, okay? And what is terrifying is that people are going to get caught in the avalanche. I talked to so many investors. I talked to women. Trying Stay to there. I want to hear from your intel and your gut where you think the economy is going, how this is happening, and how we can have a soft landing maybe and, and not have this happen. Because we know we've been holding it back. I mean, the people that love Liberty Worldwide, Thank good people in government mainly, GCN. corporations. They're good. We have good people everywhere. That's one reason this hasn't come down yet. I just got chills. You can feel the evil right now. Now into hour number three, Steve Quayle is our guest. You can find his books and films at stevequayle.com. In fact, towards the end of the interview, we're going to talk some about some of the really wild stuff he gets into, studying ancient history, what the elites are suppressing in his research, and what he's discovered uh, about you know these ancient legends. In fact, uh, briefly, Steve, uh, well, we'll get to that towards the end of the show, but it's very, very exciting. Uh, now, Steve, going back to you right now, uh, looking at the economy, looking at the world, looking at the huge stock market manipulations, huge military forces of the U.S., naval forces off the coast of China right now today, massive uh, things happening. What point are we at now, and who are the power players? What's going on? Well, first of all, I believe there was a time when we could have made a difference. Now, I want to make sure everyone understands. I'm not saying abandon hope, uh, ye who enter here into the world of what's really going on. But understand your number one priority, your priority, your priority, your priority is to get prepared for they're going to crash the financial system. Alex, you have every monetary authority in the world on your show, you know, over the years. I've interviewed some really incredibly bright people. But now, when you have the 1,200-point day down. We all knew Black Monday was coming. Good night. Who didn't warn about it pretty much? And the circuit breakers kicking in 1,200 times. The issue is, is that that was nothing more than a manipulated event to make a lot of people a lot of money. One question that's not, speak and not being asked, Alex, is all the losers, we know who lost the money, but who were the gainers? I tell people, follow the money that still works. The gainers were the ones who manipulated. Find the short sellers on the Dow, and you'll find out who did it. Obviously, Soros is being blamed for a large part of it, but it goes even beyond him. And what's happening now is that, look, it's just like uh, th there was a story written today by, I think, Chuck Baldwin, and he's quoting the uh, Spokane County Sheriff Ozzy uh, Nizovich or something, showing hands on his hips, standing on the top of the Don't Tread on Me or the Gas and Flag, the title, Daring to Tread. And he's making the statement, Alex, what you and I have warned about. You brought it out first on the Mayak report. The sheriff and at least one of his deputies have verbalized opinions that constitutionalists are threats to the sheriff's office, the federal government, and to the country itself. He went so far as to compare constitutionalists with a Sunni Muslim terror group, ISIS. Now, again, I talked years and years ago. You probably heard me say this. Identify, vilify, nullify, destroy. Okay, we're in the identification. We're in the vilification. That's right. They've been the secretly gearing up to come after us. Now they're getting ready to roll out, which is, I mean, you talk about giving the sheriff's deputies a mission that's not going to end too well. This is crazy. Yeah, and, and, you know, they can't even quote where you live or whoever they're complaining about. You know, the point being is, is that this is the attitude. So here's what I want to make people understand. The American people still believe in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Those of us who still believe in the living God know there's right and wrong. But in the age of what I call relativistic takedown of the country, Alex, when we hear the head of Planned Parenthood saying they want 50 livers to experiment on such, and you know I write about ancient history, the practices even of burning baby
babies in the arms of Molech or sacrificing babies to uh, for the uh, Phoenicians to on their anchor ropes. That's what they did. The point is, is that we stood by as a nation knowing this stuff was going. 